You know, I've been in different circumstances in my life where as a believer in Jesus Christ, as a pastor, I have felt intimidated by someone or a group's intelligence, by their stature, by just their amazing way of doing things. And I think, wow, who am I? Who am I to stand up and say something to this group of people? My job, uh, I work with a lot of people who are much more highly educated than I am. My, my job for, with the company that I work for. Um, most of my colleagues that I uh, work with in Germany are PhDs in something real easy like physics or mathematics. <laughs> right? And, and here I am among them and I, and I, I feel intimidated in my job uh, by them sometimes thinking, I ah. But God has given me favor and the blessing of being able to be an actual contributor, not just the, oh yeah, we've got to bring the token American along in here, even though he doesn't know anything. But, but has granted that unto me. And I can't tell you the number of conversations Kristen and I have had where I've said, I, I take a step back sometime and I go, what in the world am I doing in this group of intelligentsia uh, plotting and designing, you know, global things with this company? This, this, is, this is weird. God, what are you doing? But I do know what he's doing. He has set me in a place and he has equipped me and he's given me the favor in those people's eyes that to varying degrees, but for every one of them, I have testified to Jesus Christ. In the midst of a corporate culture that excludes religion overall and Jesus specifically, which most corporations, you know that, you, you can, with religiously tolerated companies, they might handle uh, the word God. But say the word Jesus and see what happens. It's different. It's different for a reason. It's spiritual warfare. But he has placed me there, and, and I've been able to share to varying degrees to the point of praying for people and them knowing it to just a, a word fitly spoken. And God put me there. Why did he pick me? I don't know. Maybe why he picked the Hebrew race. It wasn't because they were wonderful and they were righteous and they were the best listeners and followers of directions from God. Read the whole Old Testament. That's, that's not what it says. I think he picked them because they were the opposite of that. And I think he picked me because I was the opposite of that. He picked Abraham and Sarah to be the line of the Messiah because they were so old and couldn't have children. See, that's what God does. And so he's placed me there and said, be obedient and watch what I do. And he's placed you exactly where you are today in the same way. You are a called saint. You didn't choose God. He chose you. You didn't get to pick what team you're on. The manager picked you. I want you. You are called. And he doesn't call the equipped. He doesn't call us because of our great abilities or knowledge. He equips the called. He starts with nothing and builds amazing things out of it. Because for God, there is nothing that is impossible. 
And so wherever you find yourself today, whatever situation you find yourself facing and wondering if God really knows what's happening here or if he's forgotten, or you say, I can't see how in the world anything good can come of this, so I'm just going to sit and wallow in my pity, get out of it. Get to be like Paul who says, you know what? I'm in debt to everybody. I don't care who you are. I'm going to tell you about Jesus. I'm going to find the right way to do it so that it's effective. You know, if I walked into work with a placard saying, repent, the end is near. <laughs> I don't think it would be very effective. There are ways to speak to people. There's communication inspired and empowered by God that reaches into the heart and life of a person. And you can be God's instrument in doing that because somebody did that for you.